Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this fish recipe. I will share with you tips on how to fry fish without sticking to the pan and without breaking the skin. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. Here I have coca fish and the first process we're going to do is by cleaning it with water. This is after we have removed all the intestines and the gills from the fish. The inside of this fish, we need to properly wash this inside here properly because that is where the fishy smell is. Now we're going to place the fish on a cutting board and use a scissors to give the fin a very beautiful shape like this. Also cut the other fins so that it does not burn in the oil. After cutting all the fins on the fish, we are going to use a kitchen towel to wipe the fish so that it's easier for us to handle when we give it a cut. Wiping the fish clean makes the marinade easier to enter the fish and make the fish more tastier. Using a sharp knife, we are going to make cuts on the fish by 45 degrees. Cut into the fish, not too deep. If not, it will break while frying. Do the same on the other side. The fish should look like this, like a beautiful flower. Next, I'm going to cut some spring onions and some ginger, which I'm going to use in marinating the fish. This also helps to reduce the fish smell, the, the fishy smell on the fish. Grab the spring onions and the ginger in your hands and squeeze them together to bring out the juice from the ginger. Use this to rub the fish. Rub all over the fish, also inside the belly of the fish so that it enters the fish. 
This will make the fish very, very tasty. After rubbing the fish with the onion and the ginger, we're going to insert all the remaining onions and the ginger inside the belly of the fish and leave this to marinate for 20 minutes. While it's marinating, we are going to start prepping the other ingredients. And here I have some chili pepper, which I'm going to deceive. And here I have one red ball pepper which I also have to deseed. I have some spring onions which I'm going to chop also. I will also add half bell pepper which I'm going to seed. Cut them into small slices. Also, we'll be adding some garlic to this. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Please check it out. To make a fish sauce, I'm going to give all these peppers a rough blend and then keep it aside. After blending all the peppers, we are now going to attend to the fish. First, we're going to remove all the ginger and the onion, the green onions from the belly. And now we're going to sprinkle with some salt, rub the salt all over the fish and also rub the salt inside the belly of the fish i'm sorry guys my camera went off when i was rubbing the salt on the fish but please remember to sprinkle salt all over the fish and rub it in and out of the fish and also inside the fish belly after rubbing the salt all over the fish we're now going to sprinkle some flour on the fish this is what is going to make the fish not to stick to the pan while we're frying so rub this flour properly all over the fish 
Another tip for the fish not to stick to the pan is using ginger to rub all over the pan. After rubbing the pan with ginger, we are going to heat up this pan. When it's heated up, we'll add some little vegetable oil to this pan. After the oil has heated up to a certain degree, we are now going to add the fish to the pan. Fry fish until it's golden brown on both sides and fry for 5 minutes on each side. Move the oil back and front to the head and the tail so that there is an equal heat and oil touching every part of the fish. Once in a while you can shake the fish to see if it's moving. If it's not moving that means it's not yet fried. The once the fish begins to shake and move in the pan, that means it is well fried. And now we're going to cook this other side for 5 minutes and do the same thing we did on the other side by shifting the oil back and front on the head and the tail so there is an equal amount of heat touching both sides. I hope you find these tips very useful. Please smash the like button, give me a thumbs up and for my returning subscribers, thank you very much for your support. I love you guys. And now to prepare some pepper sauce to go with our beautiful fish. We're going to start first by reducing the oil, the vegetable oil from the pan. After reducing this vegetable oil, we are now going to add some peppercorns to it and give that a very good stir. Next, we will add the spring onions and the chopped garlic. Give it a good stir. After the spring onions and the ginger becomes translucent, we're now going to add the pepper sauce to it and give it a very good mix. I'll be adding a half spoon of chicken seasoning. At this point, I added a little bit of water and give it a stir. Now we're going to put the fish into the pepper sauce and we're going to cook this fish in this pepper sauce until there's just a little water left in the pan. Use the spoon to pour the pepper sauce on top of the fish so that it goes deep into the skin of the fish and makes the fish more tastier and more flavorful. This fish was so tasty, it was delicious. Man, guys, you need to try it out and comment. Let me know what you think about this video and if you made this dish, please comment and let me know how it was with you. I hope you find every tip useful. Now you know how to fry fish without it sticking to the pan or the skin breaking. Please subscribe for more recipes like this and I will see you in my next video. Cheers everyone!